friends, Robin here with Matt Man and Robin, and I'm coming to you with another haul for Operation Christmas Child. Today, I the haul is from Walmart, uh, Daiso, which is a Japanese dollar store, Michael's, and the 99 cent only store. So let's get started. The things that I got at Walmart, I actually got um, last time I went, and I just forgot the bag. I forgot to include the bag in my haul. So luckily, it's all Valentine's Day things that I'm hoping will go on sale after Valentine's Day. But I went ahead and picked them up for two reasons. One, <clears throat> I wanted to show you guys. And two, I'm not so sure they'll still be there. If, you know, if Walmart is as cleared out at Valentine's Day as it was at Christmas, I went ahead and grabbed these things just in case. Um, the first thing is this really cute bracelet. It was 98 cents. And I'm more inclined to pick these things up now since my um, Dollar Tree went up in price. And if yours is still $1, um, you should definitely be stocking up on those items for next year because um, I'm pretty sure that by the end of April, Dollar Trees nationwide will be $1.25. So this is a 98 cent Heart Valentine and he lights up, so cute. So I picked him up. It doesn't stop. It just keeps going. Anyway, then I found these poppets. Um, there, I picked up the heart and the dinosaur and the um, the unicorn. I think they're adorable. They are decent quality, um, and they were actually a dollar ninety eight. But I really liked these shapes. I did pick these up before I saw the big ones come back to Dollar Tree, um, but I like the shapes and the colors of these even better. So I did go ahead and pick up two of the unicorns for my unicorn boxes and two of the dinosaurs. Aren't they cute? Cute little triceratops. I don't know why triceratops were always my favorite dinosaur. I just, I just liked them. The next thing I got that was Valentine's Day at Walmart were these pencils for 98 cents. You do only get 10, but that makes them about 10 cents a pencil, and I am okay with that for a cute decorative pencil. And on the bottom, they are, they do appear to be wooden and not plastic. So anyway, I am doing a heart box, and I'm glad I found these cute, colorful pencils that aren't just, you know, red and pink. Um, also, I know that some people have been having some difficulty finding pencil sharpeners at Dollar Tree. They did have this set um, for 98 cents there, and I really like these colors, um, the red hearts, the purple flowers, the teal hearts, and the yellow flowers. They are really cute. So you do get 12 for 98 cents, which I think is a phenomenal deal. And the last thing I got at Walmart in the Valentine's Day were these erasers for 98 cents. There are nine of them. They are absolutely adorable, so cute. And it's a, I think it's a great variety of boy and girl um, erasers. But I'm really, I really love this like monster truck eraser and this shark eraser. It just screams boy. And a lot of these items, especially at Valentine's Day, boy stuff is harder to find. So. That is my haul from Walmart in their Valentine's Day selection. So keep your eye out for those if you, if you were interested. Let me know if you got any of them. The next haul is from my favorite store ever, which if you are new to this channel is Daiso. It is a Japanese dollar store and there are several of them. I live in the Dallas-Fort Worth area and um, there are several Daisos. So, uh, if you live in a large metroplex area, you might want to Google that. It is spelled here. Look, I will show you the logo. It's D-A-I-S-O. Um, and just Google that and go, go. If there's one within an hour of you, it's worth the trip. So the first little section of things that I got from Daiso are for my upcoming crafts. Hopefully I don't embarrass myself. Um, so they're all sewing things. I got this little bit of elastic. There are eight meters in here for $1.50. 
And I got these bobbins, which I love that they're already filled and I don't have to worry about filling a bobbin because I'm not, I'm a super amateur. Um, and then these flesh toned, mostly flesh toned. It's kind of hard to tell. It's not picking up the true color, but it's lots of browns and taupes um, and some blacks and navies, neutrals, I guess. But because I'm going to be making rag dolls, I was, I was thinking of them in the thought process of flesh tones. So I picked up these each for $1.50. And then these are really cool. So I've been watching on YouTube these super talented, amazing ladies um, making all of these rag dolls. And I'm so jealous of their talents and envious of all of their really cool sewing products. And I thought, you know, I mean, it's cool to have those fun markers that are wash away, and it's really cool to have those special hook needles, but I don't need all that. I just need a needle and some thread and a sewing machine, and I can get it done. But then at Daiso, look what I found. This is the, yeah, there it is, water-soluble Taylor's chalk. So it is one of those really cool markers that I can mark on fabric and it will come off with water. It says, pin shape makes it easy to write with, leaves clear marks, and then the rest is in Spanish or French. So, hopefully this is what I want. <laughs> Let's make mistakes together. And then I found this amazing set of needles. Look, it's one of those, I think this is specifically called a doll needle, um, and it helps when you are trying to get to sew their hair into the back of the doll's head. And then this needle is super long, and this one has a weird little hook, um, and, and it came with this like needle threader. And then up here are just the basic hand stitch needles. But I thought this was an amazing set of 27 really good quality needles for $1.50. So um, yes, if you were near a Daiso, it's a great place to go to get your own sewing materials or if you are making a sewing kit, great, great items. So that's all of the sewing stuff. I will move on to some fun things. Um, I am making two shark boxes this year, kind of a, um, a mature shark box and then like a baby sharkish box, I think. I think that's kind of how my shark collection is going. And I found these erasers, which this one is a little hammerhead. And this one is like a great white. And then there's a Shamu down here, an Orca. Um, but I thought these erasers were really cute and they're kind of puzzly. They're, they make little puzzles. So they will probably go in the more mature box because I don't want a two to four year old to swallow any of these tiny pieces. But I love Daiso's erasers. They're really cute. And yeah, it's kind of expensive to get three erasers for $1.50, but they're, they're so cute. I couldn't resist. They they got me. They got me. And then I saw these spoons. These are they are plastic cutlery and um, they have Mickey at the top, but they are different. Let me see if I can open one. They are different than our plastic cutlery. Like the ones that we use here in the states are very much a one-time use plastic. You use it and then you lose it. But this is very thick. Can you see how thick that is? It's not bendable. Um, it is It is meant to be reused. And they're really cute. They have um, more Mickey prints in here. I don't know if you can see that from the glare. I got a new light. So this is the first time I'm using it. So if the coloring is weird or if the sound is off, I also have a microphone. I got those things for Christmas and this is my first time to play with them and see how it goes. But anyways, I got six, I got three pink ones and three blue ones and these can go in my Disney boxes. Um, I also picked up this really cute Minnie Mouse keychain. I am collecting this blue and red Minnie Mouse. Um, I wanna do a box of just her. We'll see how long it takes me to get enough items. Um, to create a blue and red Minnie Mouse box. Um, these are the toothbrushes that I pick up at Daiso. Um, this is what they look like, how they are packaged. 
and they are great quality. Um, I love that they, they're really thick, that same kind of thick reusable plastic as those spoons. They come with their own lids that are vented. There is a hole there, I don't know if you can tell. Um, and then the heads are actually quite small and the bristles are really soft. I'm not gonna touch it for hygiene reasons, but um, regular toothbrushes in the States are much bigger. And this is just kind of how all toothbrushes in Japan, they're just a little bit smaller than ours. So these I think are great for all ages, but I really like to put them in the 10 to 14 year olds because if they're still 10, it's small, but if they're 14, it is an adult sized toothbrush. So those are the toothbrushes from Daiso. You get five in this pack. So you get five toothbrushes and five caps for $1.50, which is amazing amazing um then i saw some monsters ink stuff i did haul in a dollar tree um haul last week a little a mike and a little Sully and a little boo which are characters from monsters ink so today at daiso i picked up this really cute bandana um that is what it looks like when it is all opened and this is what it looks like in real life I think it's just adorable it says Mike and Sully on there and it's great I think it's so cute I also picked up this Monsters Inc lanyard here with those cute little monsters this is what it looks like I love picking these up they're so tactile and soft um, a lanyard is a must-have in my boxes um, just because I think they're so functional but still warm and cozy. And the last Monsters Inc. thing that I found today was this really cute washi tape. I know it's kind of expensive, $1.50 for some washi, but I really wanted some licensed merchandise um, to go with that box. So I picked up this really cute washi tape. <coughs> the other items I got, I did pick up a couple sets of these. Um, I, I do know that at Dollar Tree, they do have a very similar set now that is Barbie um, merchandise. It is actually Barbie brand. And if you're all about that brand life, it's a really good pickup for $1.25. But I prefer to pick this up for a dollar and a quarter because this brush here, if you can see it, um, it's a little more um, usable on the actual doll and it comes with a bigger um, actually usable mirror and I can't get it out right now I'm sorry I was gonna show you but it is clinging to life in there um, and then these to me are just like extras because what I really want is this brush so um, I pick up a couple of these every time I'm at Daiso I also this is new to me at Daiso but not new to me in Japan um, these are gel pens. Uh, they are cute and glittery and the, you can see the ink. The ink is the color of the cap. Um, this brand brings back some nostalgia and some memories. Um, I went to Japan for the very first time in the summer of 2002, 20 years ago. And I had never seen a gel pen before. And um, they were all over the place in Japan and this was the brand um, and so I was so excited to see these at Daiso and you know what 12 for a dollar I think that is a, a fantastic deal for any pins as long as I'm getting 10 for a dollar um, during the regular year not back to school I think it's a great deal and the fact that these are 12 glittery gel pins way to go way to go Daiso I also picked up these. They are called One Touch Locks. Um, I, don't, I don't know what they are actually called, but they are the little plastic thingamajigs that come on tags with clothes and stuffed animals and toys. Um, and this is how you attach them. I got these to use on my fillers this year. I want to be able to include a personal note on each filler item that I send in, but was having a hard time figuring out how to do that, and I'm hoping that these help me. I actually got this idea from 
Blessings in a Shoe Box. Um, so, but I didn't want to buy a big bulk set from Amazon yet. So I'm going to test these out and see if I like them or not. Um, the next things I got from Daiso are actually fun storage things. So I got this pack of three like little Tupperwares. Um, and these are, you have to watch if you're at a Daiso, which kind of containers that you purchase because they have so many containers. So they had this set, which is the um, microwave safe container. So that means that they, um, they stay locked together, but they are not airtight. So they have three different like levels of containers at Daiso. There is the airtight one, which has the super good top. And then they have these microwave safe, which has the top that will stay, but if you're gonna explode something in your microwave, it will still give. And then they have the steamer ones. They all look the same, so you have to read carefully, but the steamer ones are not you know, like this at all. It's just kind of like sitting on top because it's letting the steam in and out. So you have to just read on the packaging, but. I got these to make bead kits out of the beads that I got from Michael's on Christmas clearance recently. And then the other really cool container that I found were these. It says trading cards. So I think these are made for like Pokemon collectors, that type of trading card. Um, there are different card games in the nerd world. Um, I know because I used to play them where you have decks and you use them, but if you can tell, there are two here included. They're still taped together, but this is what one of them is, and I just thought it was a really cool opening, almost like a treasure box, and I loved the blue color and the fact that I got two. I'm gonna make some really great Lego kits out of these. I might even see if I can get um, a Lego mat, I guess. The base, the foundation plates, um, and cut them and glue them on top of here. Maybe. I might do that. I don't know. That's iffy. But um, I saw these and I thought that they would be perfect for Lego kits. Then the last things, and, and I think this might be the biggest thing that I get at Daiso, are their Ziploc baggies. Um, they're not really Ziploc baggies. They are their clear storage bags. So I'm going to show you all, I'm out of all of them. <laughs> so all of the ranges that I get. This one here is the biggest one that I purchased. They get even bigger than this, but this is an A4 size. So it is nine inches wide by 13 inches tall. And um, actually, I think I got the wrong one. I think I get A5s. Yeah, I picked up the wrong ones. But that's okay, I can still use these. Um, these will hold, I think, entire composition notebooks. So this will be a super big uh, pencil pack when I actually open these up and utilize them. But I do use ones that are like 9.3 inches long and I think like six inches wide is the ones that I use for my big packs. But now I'll just have like a super pack with a composition notebook in it. So a happy mistake, you know, just like Bob Ross. Um, so this is the A4 size and then the next size which I use these a lot in my own crafting um, This is this basically will hold a 5 by 7 with room around it and There are 30 of these in here for a dollar fifty which um, Is amazing because even like the sandwich ziploc bags that you get at like your grocery store You're paying a couple bucks for those and maybe getting like 20 or 30 so I'm paying $1.50 for these really thick, really good quality um, storage bags. The next size, and I use a lot of these. Um, this you can put almost anything in. This is a um, 3.9 by 5.5. So it's basically a four, four inches by five and a half, um, but it is a little bit smaller than that. So um, I can get bars of soaps in these if I want to. Um, the other things, like this is good for a deck of cards or stickers or little puzzles. 
Um, these are great for a lot of things and they are really thick. So see, it's like even the thick storage bag. I love these and you get 45 for a dollar fifty. Then these two sizes are very, very similar. Um, you get 65 in this set and 75 in this one. But in this one, I can get a, um, a chapstick sitting down in it sideways, just like this blue thing here. In this one, it has to sit upright and it doesn't fold over very well on itself. So these are my favorite. I did pick up two of these bags. <clears throat> I can also use them. They're also great for stickers or um, just little things that you want to take out of the packaging but you wanna send in something nice and reusable or you wanna put several like items together. This is great for holding hair stuff. Um, and then this is the next size down. So this one is 2.7 by 3.9. So basically a three by four. And this one is 2.3 by 3.3. So basically two by three inches. Um, and I use these for all kinds of stuff. And then the last one, you get 85 of these, and these are teeny tiny. Um, but <coughs> one of these goes in every single box because this is where I put my um, fingernail clippers and my instructions that I print from Blessings in a Shoe Box and an emery board. And they all fit in this little baggie perfectly, and I can stuff them wherever they need to go. Sometimes if I have the resources, I also like to include five or six safety pins in this little um, hygienish kit, so to speak. And these are 1.9 inches by 2.7, so basically a two by three as well. So those are my bags. I love getting them. They're such great quality. They're better quality than Ziploc baggies or sandwich baggies or snack baggies and I love them. And I go to Daiso just to get them and a lot of other things jump in my cart. So, the next haul I have is from Michaels uh, because I had to take kind of a journey to get to Daiso. I went to a Michaels that is not close to me that I haven't been to yet and they had a couple things I haven't seen. Um, this being my favorite thing, it is a a penguin obviously but you um, you make your own little stuffy penguin and I think it's just a great craft kit it was 70% off so I paid like a dollar seventy dollar eighty for this item which are which was originally $5.99 um, let me see if I can show you what this actually looks like so he, he is a styrofoam mold, really cute. And then it comes with all of the little felt pieces that you stab into him, s s jab, I don't know what. Um, it also comes with the jabbing tool and all the little buttons and eyes. So when you take it out of the box, it's, you know, it's not gonna take up that much room in a box, in a shoe box, but still make a cute little penguin. So I was excited to find that. I did get two of them. Um, they also had a Christmas tree, which I left there, but I got the two penguins. And then um, D. Rogers pointed these out and I'm so happy that I found these at this Michaels. They are um, 10 googly eyes and they were 60 cents for 10 of them. So I scooped up all that they had. Um, I think I got $5 worth of these great googly eyes and they are um, glow in the dark, I think. Um, yeah, glow in the dark. But I really love the seafoam green color that they are when they're not glowing in the dark. The last things that I found, um, I did find one more pack of the Dia de los Muertos stickers. It was, it ended up being $1 for 120 pieces. And this is the butterfly one. So there are a ton of butterflies. And there's only a few... Um, over here like sugar skulls that I'll have to take out and the most part it's great butterfly foam stickers. I also found in the Christmas section these two packs of foam stickers they ended up being a dollar fifty each so I got two of these sparkly stars 
which I think will be great for outer space theme boxes. And I got one of this awesome snowflake one because I am doing an Olaf box. So I thought um, Olaf will want some snow so he can build a snowman. And the last little bit of the haul is from the 99 cent only store. So um, I'm having to be creative because for some reason that extra quarter just gets me at Dollar Tree. It doesn't seem like a lot, um, but I also have to work to go there for work frequently. And when I am buying things for work, I'm spending like $100 at a time. And now that's coming up to be $125. So when I'm doing it in bigger quantities, I'm really seeing the effect of it. And it's making me conscious about where I'm spending my money, even that extra quarter. So I went back to the 99 cent store and I think I found some things that'll be staples for me. Um, first, I found this really, really pretty necklace with different charms. Um, this was only 99 cents. Um, I can send this whole thing. I think this is great for a teen girl box or I can break it up and send these in some of those bead kits, you know, whatever. I think, I think it will all be appreciated. But for me, I think it's going in a teen girl box. Um, I also found, where's the other one? Oh, two of these um, necklaces for younger girls. This one is a Trolls. If you can see that cute little um, medallion there. And this one is a Girl Paw Patrol. So I'm starting to see more and more Girl Paw, Paw Patrol things. So it just kind of encouraged me to pick this up and be on the lookout. I might make a Girl Paw Patrol uh, box in the future. So I saw these things for 99 cents. And then um, I think these are staples that I will probably pick up maybe every time I go. There are, um, this is in their party favor section. These are necklaces and they are big butterflies. There's the pink one and here is the purple one. And then here is, they're all a little bit different design. Here is the yellow one. Um, and you get six for a dollar, which is not, you know, horrible, but not great either. But I still think that is a great piece of jewelry to give to a child for less than a quarter a piece. And my super staples, which I believe I will always pick up almost all that they have every time I go, are these bouncy balls, eight for one dollar, which makes them roughly 12 cents a piece. And that is the best I've been able to find them, like even on Amazon. So if you know of bouncy balls um, for a reasonable price, like I'm not gonna spend a thousand dollars on bouncy balls so that I can get them for 10 cents each. But if you, if you know of a set on Amazon that's a decent price and they are less than 12 cents a piece, go ahead and link that below. I, I would love to see that if you, where you get your bouncy balls because this will be my go-to. I also think that they're pretty gender neutral. They are kind of girly, but because they have all different colors, I'm okay putting them in a boy box. I am doing a craft right now, which I will show you soon, and I needed some more chalk, so I picked up this chalk. It does have 24 multicolored sticks and 12 white sticks, so that will be nice to include in this craft that I am doing right now. And these erasers. So um, I recently compared these erasers to the ones that you can get at Walmart or Dollar Tree or Target, you know, just the basic everywhere ones. Um, and I do think that the Crayola ones are a little better quality because of the thickness of this hole right here. Um, and you do get 30. You can find this at Dollar Tree. So if your Dollar Tree is still $1, pick these up. But um, I'm gonna buy them at the 99 cent store and save myself a quarter. And throughout the year, that quarter is gonna add up to several other sets of erasers that I can purchase. I also really like these. I hauled these last time, um, but my brain saw the two roses, so I assumed that there were two hair ties here. There's not. There's one hair tie, and it interlocks with itself. So I went ahead and picked up another one so that these ones that I have will have a matching set. So the little girl can use them for pigtails or if one gets lost. Um, I also picked up this Style and Girls set. 
You can also pick up Styling Girls at Dollar Tree, but they only get you only get 15 in the pack, and um, this is 20 for a quarter less. So I went ahead and picked them up. They are pastels. They're not quite as bright as the ones at Dollar Tree, but the brand is the same, so the quality is the same, and I'm really excited about that. The next things I found, um, I was checking out, and the lady at the cashier was like, where did you find these? I'm going to go buy all the rest of them because they were Christmas clearance, and their, their um, Christmas stuff was 75% off. So I got these socks for a quarter. Um, this one is a really cute deer with really cute little eyelashes and she is on a green background. I also got that same one with a cream colored background and the really cute deer. Um, I got this teddy bear one with a um, green background. They also had this one with a blue background, but I picked up the green one. And then I picked up these two of the same sock, but different opposite colors of these penguins. Um, since I picked up two penguin crafts, it looks like I'm making a penguin box. So I had to pick up two socks, a teal and a like coral color. And they were a quarter a piece, which is amazing. And I would have, you know gotten more um, in fact I did go back and buy these two after they went ahead and ring up for a quarter um, but the lady that was checking me out she was almost in tears and then she told me the story of that she's from the Philippines and she sends items back to her family to um, to provide for them and she was so excited that these were a quarter that she ran and got the rest of the box like that was it I, I got these and she got the rest so um, I did leave those for her because it's the same idea, right? Like blessing others that we care about um, for no reason other than we just care about them. And then I found these two items. These were also near the party favor section. Um, they are bubble poppers and there are four in here. They are interlocked like a puzzle, um, but they are a $1.99. So that makes each of these 50 cents, and I thought that was a great deal because these are bigger than the small ones that you can get at Dollar Tree. Um, so I went ahead and picked up both of the color variations in this. They both have red and they both have blue, but this one has yellow and pink, and this one has purple and green. And um, I just I picked up these two because I wanted to show you, and I think they're great. Um, I actually think that this is a better size than the large ones because I can still fit more in the box and give the the gift of the bubble snaps with these. Um, and then the last two things I got are actually Valentine's things, um, but these were more affordable than the ones at Walmart, so I wanted to show you and I wanted them for myself. I got this 10 piece of these hearts. They were 99 cents for 10 of them. And I think at Dollar Tree, I think you only get six. I mean, I'm sorry, at Walmart. I think you only get six for a dollar or maybe 10 for $2. I can't remember exactly what it was, but I feel like this was the better deal, so I picked it up. And then this has shifted since I bought it, and I'm sorry it's no longer pre pretty and neat, um, but there are 20 boxes of stickers here for $1. This is, there are four different um, sets, and this, this is what is in one box, this is what is in the second box, and the third box, and the fourth box. But um, 20 of these little packs of stickers, these will be great additions to pencil packs. So I just wanted to show you. And that is my whole haul. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I tried to talk fast, but still be detailed. Let me know if I went too fast. Um, I. I'm so excited by all the things I found today and excited to be using my new light and my new microphone. So let me know what you think about those things. And also, if you have a better resource for bouncy balls than the 99 cent only store for 12 cents a ball, please let me know. I am on the hunt. 
Uh, also, let me know what your favorite thing was. Um, that is it for today. If no one has told you, I love you lots. Bye.